Does art have to be about something in general? No. What can, it, can it also be about how it makes us feel? Yes. Yeah. Well, with kindergarten, I love the way kindergartners think in an abstract frame of mind. And I love to introduce famous artists such as Vosley Kandinsky. When the aunt gave him the paint box, what happened to the color in his face? He got interested. Got interested and a little excited. We talk about the elements of abstract art. Line, shape, my favorite color, baby color. Um, now don't worry if you go outside the lines a little bit, not a big deal. Later on, we're gonna add some cola, baby cola. And then I guide them through the process. On day one, after reading a little bit from the noisy paint box. Oh, when you would hear music and sounds, you would see colors and they would come to life. How cool is that magical? Wow. I then have them select their favorite shape and we draw it six times and they get to choose where they want to put it. Then they, we do lines. So what lines I make, I want you to try to make, but do they have to be in the same way? Yeah. No, we all make in our own way. Then the fun part, we get to add color. I teach them how to use Sharpies, which they love. And then we use even metallic Sharpies. They love that even more. I am going to give you a silver Sharpie. And you can add some silver somewhere on your paper. <laughs> we go on to using oil pastels. And do we have to color everything in completely? Yeah. No. No. And then you can design some other little areas that need some love. And did I color everything in super nice and neat? Yes. A little bit, but a little bit sloppy, and that's okay. And then adding paint. Put it in there, tickle the bottom, tickle, 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 tickle. And then where do I do? SpongeBob. Put an X on good old SpongeBob. And now is it clean? Yeah. Yeah. And then I can go to a new color. Boom, boom. Even brighter than the moon, moon, moon. It's always been inside of you, you, you. I think. It's taken a long, long time to figure out how to harness the energy of a five-year-old. And once you can harness that energy, and it makes it easier, especially when you have everything organized and pre-set up, they can come in and they can use their magic and just create. but I wanted them to really just express themselves and have fun. And this way I can also assess where they are with all of the materials moving forward. Why do you like coloring? Because it follows my emotions. Oh, I saw their pure joy. Kindergartners think in an abstract way and they don't see the world the way grown-ups do and they can just create, they can get a little messy, they can have fun. I heard great conversations. Look, that's cute. <laughs> it makes me laugh. I saw them using the materials the way I wanted them to use. And X on SpongeBob. And I just saw pure joy. And what do you think about art class? It's amazing because I get to color and paint. And I want, when I plan, when I grow up, I want to be an artist. What kindergarten is the building blocks of their whole entire learning. What they learn in their classroom versus what they learn in my room. It transitions throughout all the way up into high school. and. It, it's just so important. Art just helps them express who they are as a little tiny human. Yes. Well, art friends, are we ready to make a masterpiece? Yes. You gotta show me, are you ready to make a masterpiece? Yes. yes. All right. Even brighter